Hello, uh, today I want to show how you can apply for a Ugandan visa online. Yeah, so if you don't know how to do it, uh, please follow along. It will be a step by step process. Yeah, uh, and if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing now. Uh, be part of this knowledge team. Like the video. Yes, so without wasting time, let me go to the computer and I show you how to do it. Your phone, uh, computer and open the browser and enter this url immigration.go.ug it will open from this page this interface yes then uh, you come and click on open e-visa click e-visa yeah you leave it to load and open Yeah, depending on your internet speed, it can take somehow longer. If the internet is okay, it can be so fast. Yes, it has come. Once it comes from here, it opens from this page where it says, Welcome to Uganda, electronic visa stop permit application. Let's go straight. And we, we click on, yeah, start, start new application. Then you accept the disclaimer. Yeah, you can read through it and accept. Then here, step one says, select the type of application. Now, are you applying for permit or visa? We are applying for permit. You click and choose. Yeah, we are applying for visa. You click and choose visa. Yes. Then to show you here the category, choose the category. Maybe we have different categories here. Visa for diplomatic, stock official, passport holders, Ugandan tourist visa, East African tourist visa, transit visa, multiple entry visa. So, Let's say we select the category as Uganda tourist visa. Then subcategory, uh, we select uh, NT1. Then here, they are showing you down here uh, supporting documents that you need to be having according to the visa you have applied above. So we have a letter stating the reason for transit and country of destination. Oh, documents, uh, supporting documents for purpose of visit, maybe medical. Yeah. Uh, invitation letter in bracket family visit recent passport size photo vaccination certificate year of fever yes um then um, that is for all for everyone applying then cover letter detailing the purpose of the visit that is in others immigration status of the host that is for the family visit if you are your visa is for the family visit then you have to attach the immigration status of the host then uh invitation letter for conference if you are coming for conference then you have to have an invitation letter then attach the passport coffee uh, passport copy then you have to pay for tourist visa you have to pay uh, 50 US dollars yes as you can see here that's the charge that you have to pay yeah so let's click next yes so we click next we go to the next step two under step two it is asking us uh, to enter do you want to associate this visa to a group if so if not you continue down you enter the personal data enter your name here enter your names here you enter your date of birth when you were born maybe 2008 uh, and date if that's done you choose your gender you are male or female marital status you can choose married or if you are married you enter your spouse's name as you can see but for this case let me choose single then uh, current nationality uh, maybe you are from where which country uh, maybe maybe uh, maybe uh, maybe china because we have chinese a lot of chinese here and then um do you have dio nationality if yes yeah you click here yeah, you tick yes if no you tick no former nationality if any if you don't have you leave place of bus you put count of bus you as well enter it here i'm entering rough any rough information but if you're feeling you have to put in the right information uh then uh immigration status in the count of residence yes uh are you a citizen yes um count of residence uh you put a city you put current residential address you put uh, you put your phone number and email put your phone number here and email 
then we go to next another part passport type which passport do you have do you have ordinary diplomatic uh, visa what they say ordinary but uh, passport number you enter it here is you in press is you in country you put it uh, press of issue you enter it uh, date of issue you enter uh, expiry date you enter enter the expiry date then uh, previous passport if any then we can go to others which is the next address in uganda where you are going travel history if you have any history it's mandatory um purpose of visit why visiting purpose it conference family medical what maybe it is a family visit maybe it is tourism uh date of arrival uh, rate of arrival let's say it's today a point of entry where you want to have a visa personalized maybe you will be in uh, maybe you'll be in guru then duration of stay how long are you going to stay maybe four months specify the period in months or years or days uh have you ever been denied a visa before if yes tick yes if no you click no have you ever been deported before if yes tick yes if no click no have you ever been convicted in any country if yes click yes if no click no are you there uh, are there any criminal proceedings against you if no tick no are you suffering from any mental illness if yes click yes if no click no then confirm the information and for that then go to next step go down click next step they're telling us do you have children there is some information we haven't entered here specific the period in days uh specify the period in months yes there's some information we haven't entered but then dissertation do you have children in those to know and there is another something else that maybe we never entered what is it era duration of stay data maybe it is one year one year i think that is it missing yes let's let's go to next step specify the day in months not accepted day in days and months the following year okay duration of stay duration of stay request three here it will be in months three months yes then uh, next is to validate the information traffic rights we have this traffic like this this and this then click next for the next step it is asking you to attach the copies of passport copy recent passport size and certificate so you click here and attach those documents click attach passport photo size vaccination certificate vaccination certificate you attach it vaccination certificate here is it is too big it's too big okay get something smaller because you have to see the size of the documents that uh, is required to be uploaded yes if that is done you click next it will take you to a preview page then you can preview the information that you have entered and check and make sure that every information entered is correct once everything is okay and i've attached the required documents click submit yes you can as well print it out you can print the form out and submit yes so that's all that you need to do yeah then but remember you have to pay for this tourist visa that we are we have chosen here for different visas they have different prices but this was 50 us dollars you have to pay it yes as you submit so that is it um
yeah so that's all yeah so if you haven't subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this knowledge base and make sure you like this video because once you like it it is going to spread around and everyone can see it yeah so i know many people need such information so let other people see the information and get that knowledge yes so please uh, subscribe hit that notification bell and let's meet in another video big ups